Hello, my name's James Whitworth and you're watching Tech Baffle. Today we're going to look at the Sony Altfield 1. Discover cool stuff. Tech Baffle. This is a brand new speaker from Sony and I've got mine in orange, but they come in a range of different colours, black, green, white or orange. And you can buy this on Amazon. Check the Tech Baffle links in the description. Comes in this very nice packaging like so. Very nice Sony presentation. I like the colours to this, the sort of holographic looking colors it's not actually holographic which is a slight shame come on sony but yeah very cool box indeed so what does it say it is a sony wireless speaker hooray c2024 this is brand new yeah so the full model name is the srs ult 10 from sony entertainment oh so we also have like the portrait box as well Ah, oh, this is this is better for TikTok. So if you're watching on TikTok, you'll see it this way around. Now this features powerful bass with ULT button. Do you know I'm gonna say alt. If you're gonna be mad at me, stay mad. So it features 12 hours of battery life and is IP67 dustproof and waterproof. So you can take this anywhere perfect for the outdoors as well. Bluetooth doesn't mention what Bluetooth version, but now being a Sony, it's got the official made for iPhone and iPod certification and it works with Android. I'm wearing an orange watch, which actually Shannon bought me. So I'm, I'm matching. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Ooh, this is intriguing. What does it look like in real life? Oh, so we've got a step-by-step. -step. One, start and download the app, I'm guessing. Two, turn on the speaker. And three, pair it. rd1.sony.net, eh? Ah, okay. So it's got the uh, help guide. Oh, I thought it was an app. <laughs> oh, ah, it's material. This is interesting. It feels more sustainable. It's not like plastic. I don't actually know what it is. Is it cotton? I'm not sure. Oh, oh chicken. There we go. Put that to one side. And underneath that, we do actually have the reference guide, so it's not just online, which is nice. And then our USB-C to USB, featuring Sony branding. At the bottom here, we have, sort of enclosed in this bit of tape, we have the reference guide, and I think it's the same, just a couple of different languages. And underneath that, we have statement of compliance. Don't forget to register. Oh, don't forget to drop that in the box. <laughs> um, don't forget to register your new purchase online. Ooh. I guess it's like a warranty type thing. Take a few moments to protect your valuable new purchases by registering them online. You'll enjoy product and software updates, special offers and online support. If you're being nosy, this is the statement of compliance. And this is very exciting, I know. Oh, wow been signed and everything and finally we have the user guide it's quite good how they give you both i like having the option of both online and a physical user guide you might be team online you might be team physical but do you know what i think it's best to have a little bit of both it's nice to get a paper copy at least rather than just everything being online but in typical sony fashion <laughs> um the, the, the yeah the instruction manual is like a, a road map Th thanks, Sony. Uh, uh, I, I think I picked the wrong user manual. Yeet. Ow. It's going, it's going well, folks. It's going well. Okay, so I think this is the one that's got English in. It makes sense. It's a Sony user manual. It's always going to be good quality and clear. Let's put that in the box and pretend none of that happened. And move on to the speaker itself. Now, like I said, it comes in this really nice cloth bag. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is jazzy. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Sony. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. What a jazzy color. I mean, if orange isn't your thing, don't worry. There is plenty of other sensible colors available. But I just thought, you know, this is this is cool. I just wanted to go for something different. I'm so used to buying things that are like black or possibly white. I thought, you know, I'm just going to go for orange. Why not? It's it, it's going to be a speaker for the summer. So why not make it somewhere? Usually Sony logos are just silver logos, but this is a proper holographic Sony logo. Look at that. And this design's nice as well. Really nice construction, solid build. Oh, don't forget the alt button has also got like a holographic effect. Oh, look at that. Anyway, we'll move on to that in a moment. Let's have a look around the speaker. So we've got this nice cloth grill going around the edge. And 
each of the sides have this rubberized coating. So when you place it down, it really does this grip to the surface and you can have it even facing like a tube facing upwards, depending on your preferences. It's up to you. So you can do one or the other. Very cool indeed. On the side, we have two base radiators. Very nice indeed. Very simple. There's no sort of branding on it, but it's nice that they've created a bit of a distance. So if you have got it facing the table, it's not going to rattle against the table or something. And plus, we've got a bit of ventilation for the base radiator if you have it facing down as well. So it lets the sound out very nice indeed. This is like classic Sony attention to detail. That's what I like. Uh, yeah, I like the design. It's kind of, it's interesting, isn't it? It's, it's quite simple, but then quite unusual at the same time. Slightly wider on the edge. It means that it grips better because these grippy surfaces stick onto your table and you go like this, bam, and it's not going nowhere. So we have this unusual kind of strap. It's almost like a bit like a shoelace kind of thing. I do like it. It kind of reminds me of like it seems kind of sporty, I guess, because it's like a, a shoelace almost. It is, it seems like a sporty product. Plus, if you wanted to be super trendy, you could actually take this out and put whatever kind of shoelace you wanted. Really, I mean, there is room for customization if you're into that. On the top, we have power on and the charge indicator, Bluetooth. We have the phone call answering button and play and pause, and then volume down and up. Finally, we have the ooh, we have the alt button, which is for your deep, powerful bass. On the back, we have this little door which opens up and has your USB-C connection. And it, it is attached to the speaker, so you're not going to get it lost. Now, you can't really see through the speaker grill, but around here is the main driver. And then we have the tweeter here. So we actually have really nice high frequency. It's the best of both worlds because we have the bigger speaker for higher bass and then we have the tweeter for the extra crispy detail. Okay, without further ado, let's see if it has a new charge. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and pair it to my phone. Oh, intro. I've never seen this before. Is this like a new feature on Android? Uh, okay, connect. That is, I, I have no idea if that's something to do with the speaker or the Android. Ah, we're connected. Hooray. Apologies, I have no idea. Is that like a Samsung feature that's just appeared? Because I've never noticed that before. Before we get too excited, though, I want to go into the Sony Music Center app. So we have the Sony Music Center app. Let's go ahead and install that. By the way, a massive thanks to every person who watched the JBL Go 4 video. That was amazing. Like, it really did much better than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, Sony Music Center open. New notifications. Sure. Privacy policy. There we go. So, allow Music Center to access Tech Baffles URT field one. Yeah. And there we go. Now, I'm an idiot because I haven't fully charged it before first use. Always do that first. But I'm just impatient. So, yeah, we've got 80% battery life. We can actually group this with other speakers as well. So if you've got any other Sony speakers, you could have them dotted around the house or around the garden. Create yourself a party experience. So if you click on group with other speakers, then you can do the stereo pair. So if you really want that stereo wide sound, then get to and you can enjoy that for that proper sort of hi-fi experience. From the Sony Music Center app, you can do all the sorts of things you'd expect, but you can also go into your music services if you've got Spotify, YouTube Music. I don't know if there's any kind of equalization on this, is there? Wow, thanks for that, Sony. That's amazing information. <laughs> I honestly didn't spot this at the time. I think the app could do with a bit of a UI refresh, but hey-ho. If you go to settings, sound and in sound effect you can then customize your sound so if you select custom you can then adjust the bass the middle and then the treble without further ado let's go into epidemic sounds go on to the tech baffle sound test playlist you can also test your speakers at home so check the link down below for the Tech Baffle Sound Test playlist. I'm interested to see what the alt button does as well. I'll do the proper sound test in a moment. I'm just giving you my first thoughts. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll try a little bit with alt turned. 
What? I don't know what just happened. I pressed the alt button and it made a funny noise. <laughs> Poof. Okay, okay. Let's press the button. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we know alt is on. Much more powerful bass. Look at that bass radiator go. That is awesome. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually quite like the sound of the speaker with it turned off. It sounds quite natural. I mean, maybe different genres might sound different. But when you do press that alt button, it really does come to life. It opens up that bass. And yeah, once you do that, the bass radiator has really come to life as well. So let's try this with alt turned off. And let's see what the difference is when we turn it on. Okay. It sounds like this way. But yeah, really nice speaker, really nicely detailed. Crystal clear as well, it's not just all bass. And this handle is nice because you can hold it like this. Take it around almost like a miniature boombox. Or sort of have this around your arm, have it around your hand, take it with you. Now, we've had the fun and games. Let's go ahead and do the sound test. So what do I think of the Sony Alt Field 1? Well, this is a really nice solid speaker, feels brilliant quality, it's trusted Sony quality that you know and love. And like I said, I've got this loud orange colour because I'm mad. It, you can get some really nice subtle colours 
as well, so depending on your taste. There's no lights, which maybe is a tad shame. It's great fun having that alt button. It brings the speaker to life. It really does open up that bass. And then you've got the treble coming out of the tweeter to give you that extra crisp detail. So if you love your dance music, your rap, anything drum and bass, anything that's bass heavy, then you're really going to enjoy this speaker. I bought this myself off Amazon for £119, which is good price, considering this is something that's going to last without any issues whatsoever. Like It's really built to go with you on the journey. feels nice and strong, like you could knock it down a bit it's not going you're not going to get worried about it basically which is what you want for a speaker you're taking traveling <laughs> i'm having too much fun so if you want the sony alt field one then go ahead and check the links down below where you can buy this on amazon if you enjoyed this video smash that like button if you want any more of this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing i'm on facebook x instagram tiktok threads and snapchat follow me at tech baffle i'm also on reddit r slash tech baffle for all latest head over to techbaffle.com thanks for watching and have a baffling day